My favorite New York landmark isn't a skyscraper or a statue. It's a bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge. I see it every day, but I bet you recognize it too. It's Gothic architecture, stone towers, and unusual cable design have made it a symbol of New York for over 130 years. The bridge, which connects Brooklyn and Manhattan, is almost 6,000 feet long, 85 feet wide, and weighs over 14,000 tons. When it was built, it was the only bridge across the East River. It was much longer and a lot taller than any other bridge in the world. And the story of its construction is as epic and inspiring as the bridge itself. I've come here to the Brooklyn Museum to find out more about the building of the bridge. John Augustus Roebling, the man who designed the bridge, was an immigrant from Germany. He started the bridge in 1867, but died in a tragic work accident two years later. His son, Washington, who was also an engineer, took over the project, but he too suffered tragedy during the bridge's construction. He had an accident which left him paralyzed. Fortunately, his wife, Emily, who had also studied engineering, was able to help. She became the link between her husband and the construction managers and workers. Today, there's a plaque dedicated to the Roeblings, here at the bridge's entrance. The workers that built the bridge were only paid $2 a day. If they hadn't worked as hard as they did, the bridge would never have been finished. But it was, and the Brooklyn Bridge opened on May 24th, 1883. There were some rumors that the bridge wasn't strong enough. But if the bridge hadn't been strong enough, it surely would have collapsed when a circus owner marched 21 elephants across it. I use the bridge every day, and I'm not the only one. More than 120,000 vehicles, 4,000 pedestrians, and 2,600 cyclists cross the bridge every single day. This massive amount of traffic couldn't possibly have been predicted by the Roeblings. But amazingly, they built the bridge six times stronger than was necessary at the time. Today, it is one of the oldest suspension bridges in the world. However, over the years, the bridge has changed. Until 1944, trams, called streetcars, used to run along the bridge's central lanes. Today, the bridge has six lanes for vehicles and a central walkway for pedestrians. Some vehicles, like buses and commercial trucks, can't cross the bridge because they're too heavy. In the 1980s, the bridge's floodlights were switched on, and this night view became one of the most famous sights of New York. Whether viewed by day or night, the Brooklyn Bridge is a magnificent structure. It is a global icon that has often been called the eighth wonder of the world.